Okay, welcome to this video. We're going to look at Pizza Pie. So what we're going to do here is we're going to install our libraries and we're going to expect one command line argument. So we're going to output a table in grid format using tablet module. Now we're going to exit if there's more than one command line argument given. It's not a CSV file or a file does not exist. So first off, according to the assignment, we're going to get our sicilian.csv and we're going to do it using this command here, we get or wget. So I'll copy that and bring it over to my program. I'm going to cd to pizza. So in here I have pizza.py already. And if you see here, I don't have the CSV file. So I paste that in here. And now we have our Sicilian.csv. It's our file we're going to be working with. Now let's look at installing our libraries. So first off, we're going to pip install tabulate. So up here, what we're going to do is we're going to, from tabulate, import tabulate and we're also going to import our sys module and we're going to import our csv module so that's that done so now we're going to do some um, syscarg v's to expect one command line argument and actually the assignment says exactly one command line argument. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do an if statement. So if the length of sys.argv is smaller than 2, then we're going to sys.exit. And then we're going to put in the string too few command line arguments. So it says one command line argument here, but we're using two. But we have to take into account that our file has been called too. So this is what will happen. Python, that's what we type in the command line. Python, and we'll call pizza.py. And then we'll do our CSV file. So this is going to be argument zero, and this is going to be argument one. But we need these two, so the command line must have at least two arguments in order there to be one file being brought in. Okay, this is going to be called, and then this is going to be our second one. All right, so now we do the other way around. So elif the length of sys.argv is bigger than two. Then we're going to sys.exit. And that is going to be, copy this again. And change this to many. Two many command line arguments. Okay, so I'll just get rid of this, clean it up. Now we have our sysc argvs checking that we have exactly what we need here. So Python, pizza, and one uh, CSV file. So the next thing we're going to do is check that it is a CSV file. So what I'm going to do is going to do else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this argument here, which is going to be syscargv1. Remember, this is syscargv0, and this is going to be syscargv1. So instead of calling it syscargv1 all the time, I'm going to save it to a new file, and I'm going to call that CSV file. That's just a new variable I created. So I'm assigning that to sys.argv1. So in order to check that it is a CSV file, I'm going to do if CSV file dot ends with. Now ends with is a module in Python. So if it ends with and inverted commas CSV
Only then will I carry on and do the further instructions that open the file, etc. So we're checking if it's a CSV file. So we're going to do an else statement here. Let's drop an error for a minute now because it's expecting something between. But else will sys.exit and we'll put the string in, not a CSV file. So we're going to do our code in here. So what we're going to do is our code. Well, we're going to open our file. So with open csv file as file so we're going to refer to it as file so we're going to read the files so we're going to call it reader so the reader the reader is contained within the uh, csv module here csv dot reader and we're going to read file and we're going to save that to a variable called reader So next thing we're going to do is going to read every row in the file using our csv.reader and then we're going to append the rows to a new table we're going to create. So up here I'm going to type table and assign that to an empty list. You can call that anything, it's just a list, an empty list and I'm just using the variable table. So for row in reader we're going to table dot append row so what this is doing here is it's appending each row in turn into the table remember we've bought in the csv file here so we're going over each row and we're appending each row in turn into our new table so that we can work on it so we're saving it to a table we'll work on it and then we'll send it back out again so, so far we're working with the CSV module and as always you get the information in the document. Now tablet is the same, so tablet documents are, you know, they're available here on the CS50 assignment page. So like this pip install tabulate and the different table formats here. So we're looking at the grid format. So if you scroll down to grid, you'll see, and we're going to use a variation of this because I'm going to use the headers in the first row because here I want the headers to be in the first row. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come outside our for loop. I'm going to print. So I'm printing tabulate. And within tablet module I'm printing table. So remember table is our list up here. So that's what we're printing. But I want it in the grid format. So I'm going to comma and say table FMT for format. I'm going to assign that to grid in the commas. Now I want the headers, because remember I said the headers here. I don't want them mixed, but I want them in the first row. So I'm going to comma again. I'm going to go headers. I'm going to assign that to inverted commas again, first row. So that will hopefully print the table in grid format with the f with the headers in the first row. I said all this information here is contained within the documents. And perhaps a bit of Googling or Stack Overflow as well if needs be. So the last thing we need to do is we need to check whether the file exists. So we've done everything else. So we've outputted it in grid format and we've done the one command line argument. We've done the CSV file or not a CSV file. So the last one here is the file does not exist. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use a try and accept statement. So I'm going to try here, and at the bottom I'll do accept. I'm going to accept file not found, so file not found error. And if that's the case, I'm going to sys.exit, and I put in the string, file does not exist. So here I'm going to indent everything within the if and the else. I'm going to do that by pressing control and I'm going to click the right square bracket. So I'm going to move this out again because it moved in automatically. Okay, so that looks like it is done. Get rid of that. So here, okay, we've imported our modules, we've created our table. 
we've done our if and elif to make sure that the command line argument is correct, that it's one exactly. Or else is we're going to try to open a file and if it does not exist, it's going to throw this error down here, file not found error. Otherwise, it's going to check is it a CSV file and if it is a CSV file, then it's going to open it. It's going to read each row into our table up here, I'm going to append it to it. And then we're going to print tabulate in a grid format with the first row as a header. So that is our file. Okay, let's try running it. So I'm going to Python. I'm going to say pizza.py and sicilian.csv. And there we have our grid. So we have our grid and we have our headers in the first row. Now if we run it, we instead use a text file. So not a CSV file. We'll try it and we'll forget put in our CSV file altogether. Too few command line arguments. And the last time we're gonna do it, and I'm gonna add another file, so test at CSV, too many command line arguments. Cool. The last thing we need to do as always is we need to check 50. So we'll copy this, go over here, and we'll check 50. And it looks like we got all greens. Yep, so it exists and everything seems to be working properly. So thank you for joining me in this video and hopefully I will see you in another one soon.